Attack on Israel by the Iran-backed group saw a kamikaze drone travel hundreds of miles from Iraq to the port in the city of Israel known as Elat. At this port, one of Israel's most prized possessions resided, a corvette from Israel's most powerful corvette class ever, the Sa'ar 6 class. Israel has only four ships in this class and one isn't yet in service. In a large-scale war like the one Israel is currently in, such ships are crucial to Israel's survival especially on the seas, considering the small size of the country's navy. Simply put, for Israel, every hull is crucial. Losing one would be devastating, especially if that one was a Sa'ar 6. The drone from Iraq attempted to destroy a Sa'ar 6, or at least it came very close to doing so. Israel was furious. The kamikaze drone apparently missed its target. Instead of the Sa'ar 6 ship, it struck a building a few meters behind it. Still, it was an attack Israel couldn't forgive. Hours after the kamikaze drone, which was made in Iran and reportedly directed by Iran, struck Israel, Israel went off. An airstrike, probably the most brazen of all Israeli airstrikes on Iran's interests in Syria, was executed. A console building next to the Iranian embassy in Syria was completely destroyed. The building reportedly contained high-ranking officials, including generals of the Iranian armed forces at the time of the strike. At least three generals were killed. Iran promised to retaliate harshly. The retaliation was, picture this, drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles in more numbers than you can count, invading the night sky and lighting it gold through flames thrusting out from their rear. Yes, the Armageddon. A massive attack that traced its roots back to an attack on a Sa'ar Ear ship that Israel could not forgive. So, now that we're all caught up to speed, let's take a look at what makes the Sa'ar 6 Corvettes so special to Israel. Sa'ar 6 Corvettes Sa'ar 6 is a class of Corvettes operated by the Israeli Navy. They were ordered for the Israeli Navy in May 2015 and contracted to German shipbuilders ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems and German Naval Yard Holdings in a joint project. The ship's design is loosely based on the German Braunschweig-class Corvette, but with engineering changes to accommodate Israeli-built sensors and missiles such as the Barak 8 and the naval version of the Iron Dome system. Four ships exist in the class. INS Magan, INS Oz, INS Atzmut, and INS Nichikon, all of which were built in Germany at an estimated cost of $500 million. Israel paid for two-thirds of the cost, and the German government will subsidize a third of the construction costs, thanks to the benefits and jobs the contract brings to the German economy. It was a similar arrangement with the construction of Israel's Dolphin-class submarines. With Israel's most consequential enemies known, the Sa'ar 6 ships have their work cut out for them. The Lebanese Hezbollah group, for instance, has alleged for years that Israel's gas fields lie in Lebanese waters and has threatened to target them, threats that have been fulfilled at least twice with attack drones. The Houthis, another powerful militia group based in Yemen, has attacked ships transiting the Red Sea, especially Israel-linked ships in protest to Israel's bombardment of Gaza. Drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles were deployed in these attacks, many of which coalition forces from the US, UK, and other allies had to intercept. One of the most brazen and well-known of these attacks came on October 19, when at least 15 drones and four missiles had to be intercepted over a nine-hour period. USS Kearney of the US Navy had a lot to do on that day. However, American and other coalition naval operations have since moved south to deal with the crisis around the Bab el-Mandeb Strait. It isn't clear what external support still exists for defeating long-range drone and missile attacks against Israel via the Red Sea. The Israel Defense Forces have used their own air defenses, including everything from ballistic missile interceptors to fighter aircraft, to counter these attacks. But should the attacks persist, the Sa'ar 6 Corvettes may need to get involved. Israel received the first of the corvettes, INS Magan, in December 2020, the second, INS Oz, in May 2021, and the final two, INS Azmaut and INS Nitzikon, in July 2021. After delivery, they would be fitted with Israel's locally made systems and tested. Then they are commissioned and deployed into action. The Sa'ar 6 had its first combat experience in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, mid-October 2023. 
The ships will complement the older Sa'ar 5 class corvettes built in the U.S. on order of the Israeli Navy. The new Sa'ar 6 corvettes are 49% heavier than their Sa'ar 5 predecessors, with a full load displacement of 1,900 tons compared to the 1,275 tons of the Sa'ar 5 ships. The Sa'ar 6 corvettes are also larger, yet they appear smaller on radar due to modern stealth technologies that protect them from enemy radar detection. Going into their hulls, Sa'ar 6 corvettes are powered by two MTU 20V 1163TB93 diesel engines that produce a combined 20,000 horsepower to power the ship. Powered by these engines, a Sa'ar 6 Corvette can reach speeds up to 27 knots and travel up to 4,500 miles in a single voyage. Each Corvette has a hangar large enough to house three boats and a helicopter deck at the stern that can accommodate a medium multi-mission maritime helicopter such as the SH-60 Seahawk. The ships survey their surroundings and spot targets using the ELM-2248 multifunction surveillance, track, and guidance radar, a multifunction, active, electronically scanned array radar that will track targets up to 280 miles away with a 360-degree coverage even under severe environmental conditions and jamming attacks. Once a target is spotted, the Saw R6 Corvette can dig into its arsenal of weapons for the appropriate response. The ship is armed with two Typhoon 25mm remote-controlled cannons and one Italian Otto Malara 76mm cannon, which can engage surface targets, warships, air targets, and even missiles approaching the ship. Regarding explosives, each Sa'ar 6 ship is armed with 16 Barak 8 air defense missiles, the long-range version, with a range of 43 miles, 40 Iron Dome air defense missiles from the naval version known as the Sea Dome, and 16 Israeli Gabriel Mark VI anti-ship missiles with a range of 250 miles, which can be replaced with the American Harpoon Block II with a range of 77 miles, a dual-spike ER missile launcher, and two 324mm torpedo launchers also call the Sa'ar 6 home to cause even more explosions. The choice of weapons for the Sa'ar 6 ships confirm the discussions that the ships are mainly for defensive purposes and that their destinies would be to protect Israel's interests against never-ending threats. And the threats are never-ending indeed. In fact, as Israel shoots down their enemy military assets, two more take their place, literally, it seems. Iran has just launched two corvettes of their own, which could be the ultimate response to Israel's Sa'ar 6 corvettes. Enter Iran's new corvettes. Iran's new corvettes. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy of Iran, on February 19, two months ago, launched two Shahid Soleimani class missile corvettes. These new corvettes are known as the Shahid Hassan Bagheri and the Shahid Syed Shirazi. Combined with the Shahid Soleimani, the first ship of the class, Iran currently has three ships in this class. A fourth one, the Raiz Ali Delvari is already under construction. Iran is fortifying its military might on the seas in no small way. The corvettes of this class are each 600-ton ships whose missile payload includes six incline launchers for various types of Iranian anti-ship cruise missiles, the farthest flying of which can strike targets up to 430 miles away. The guns on each ship include a 30mm gun mount and six three-barreled 20mm remote-controlled stations. In addition, the ships have a platform for helicopters and a crane in the stern to launch small boats, including unmanned ones. These ships mark a significant step in Iran's shipbuilding and military electronics development. And apparently less advanced than Israel's Sa'ar 6 corvettes, they could cause Israel some trouble on the seas. But in the end, the Sa'ar 6 would likely come out on top, victorious. The Sa'ar 6, Israel's latest and most advanced corvettes yet, have come just in time to save the day and protect their country from ceaseless attacks from every rival that's got a weapon. And they're already doing a great job at it. They would do an even better job if you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. So do that now and thanks for watching.